Hello everyone and happy new year to you and your families. Today we are going to discuss experimental research and this is basically a brief introduction to the concept of experimental research. So the questions that I would like to answer to um, in this presentation include the question of what is experimental research and what is the general process of experimental research in uh, uh, social sciences. So let us begin with a general definition of this particular type of research. Experimental research basically is one of the most authentic and rigorous types of research used in physical and social sciences. So generally, the beginning uh, or the origin of experimental research is actually in physical sciences, but it has now been increasingly used in social sciences as well. Um, as the very name of experimental research suggests, this is a kind of research that is based on conducting experiments. Um, and the aim of these experiments is actually to establish cause and effect relationship between variables that is basically dependent and independent variables. So um, experiment if we briefly define it experiment actually is the process of manipulation of the independent variable or variables which is also called treatment of the variable in order to observe its possible effect on dependent variables. Now what are dependent and independent variables or what are variables? These are some of the things that we will come uh, to in the as we proceed further into this particular presentation. Experimental research, the basic aim of experimental research or basically the distinction between experimental research and other forms of research in social sciences is actually that experimental research aims at the explanation of phenomena rather than the description or exploration of phenomena. Um, although description and exploration are part of explanation as well, but the basic aim of experimental research is actually to explain phenomena. So, um, now, there are certain characteristics associated with experimental research and these include um, the, 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 uh, the, the fact that experimental research represents the positivist research paradigm. As we know that there are different research paradigms, the main being the interpretive paradigm and the positivist paradigm. The positivist paradigm of research actually um, is based on the quantification of phenomena or in other words the quantification of the social reality. Besides the other characteristic of experimental research is that it is aimed at um, the cause and effect relationship or the establishment of the cause and effect relationship. Then um, Random selection of the subjects or sample from the population is also one of the characteristics of, um, of experimental research. Besides random selection of the sample or the subjects, random assignment of the subjects or the, the members of the sample to groups, that is to experimental group and to control group is another characteristic of experimental research. And then control. Generally, uh, what happens is that experimental research researches are conducted in an environment of control. So there is there is control, which actually means that the settings of the experimental research are non-natural, or we can also say they are artificial research settings, as compared to. Uh, to researches uh, that are more qualitative researches which actually um, take place in more naturalistic type of environment or settings. 
experimental research happens in a more controlled and and actually non-natural artificial uh, type of research settings. Um, the next important characteristic is that in experimental researches uh, there happens the manipulation of the phenomena which actually means manipulation of variables especially manipulation of the independent variables um, which actually means um, that some change is brought in the independent variables in order to observe or to, to evaluate uh, its effect on how it changes or whether it changes or not changes the dependent variable. So these were some of the characteristics of um, the experimental research. Now there is uh, uh, some, because this is an introduction basically to experimental research design, so we would also uh, like to discuss the, some of the terminology uh, to explain some of the terminology that is actually used in experimental research. Um, one of the uh, important uh, terms in uh, the experimental research ter terminology is the independent variable or independent variables. So what are these? Variables that are manipulated or given treatment to see its possible effect on the dependent variable. So generally there are two types of variables in experimental research, the independent variables and the dependent variables. And so the independent variables are variables, the effect of which we are interested in uh, to see the effect of these variables on the dependent variable. Um, and so um, these variables are manipulated or these variables are changed in order to see the possible effect of the, 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 the change or the manipulation of these variables on the dependent variable. For example, teaching method. In the context of education, teaching method could be taken as one of the independent variables and manipulation of the teaching method or change in the teaching method might have effect on student learning. And so dependent variables are variables um, that are supposed to witness change or that are supposed to go through the process of change as a result of manipulation of the independent variable. For example, in the context of education, we could say the student learning could be taken as one of the dependent variables in an experimental research where we are interested uh, to see the effect of teaching methods on students' learning. Then another important terminology is pre-test. So what is pre-test? What is the concept of pre-test in experimental research? Measurements of the perceived dependent variables before treatment. So pre-testing is an important part of the experimental research process. And pre-testing is important because it helps in the measurement of the particular dependent variable before the experiment takes place or before treatment is given. Um, so that's about pre-test. Post-test is another process um, that is generally conducted in um, true experimental research designs. And so post-tests are actually measurements of the perceived dependent variables after treatment. Um, so what happens, uh, how far or in what ways has the dependent variable changed as a result of, of treatment? Measuring that is, is actually called post-test. So um, we move on now to some other terminology. Uh, for example, experimental group. So what is an experimental group in the context of an experimental research design? The group given treatment to or stimulus. So experimental group is the group. Generally in experimental researches, we have two types of groups. The groups that receive treatment um, or, or special treatment. Um, 
or the, the group that actually goes through the particular experimental process. So the stimulus, the application of the stimulus actually happens on this particular group or the experimental group. Um, and then the control group, the group not given treatment or stimulus is called the control group. So generally in an experimental study where we have two groups, the experimental group and the control group, the group that receives the treatment or the stimulus is the experimental group and the group that, re that does not receive um, the treatment is the control group. Then what is the treatment? The treatment actually is the experimental stimulus administered to the subjects in the experimental group. So for example, the experimental group is um, taught, uh, for, for example, if you divide a class into two groups, one experimental group and the other control group, and you teach the control group through the traditional method, the method that you have already been teaching them, and the, the experimental group has been taught through a new method, um, the effectiveness of which we want to establish. So that new method of teaching that is used in the case of the experimental group will be called treatment. Then treatment manipulation. Actually, this means change in stimulus. And so change in stimulus could be qualitative. That means changing from one type of, let's say in the context of education, changing from one teaching methodology to another teaching methodology. And it could be quantitative as well, which actually means um, the, uh, the, the manipulation of the treatment um, in terms of quantity. For example, um, increasing the amount of time or incre increasing the intensity of the experience. That will be called treatment manipulation or change in stimulus. Now we move on to, to, to get it um, to summarize the general process of the experimental research. So what actually happens? Um, and I must reiterate that this is a very general process that I'm um, discussing here. There are more complex processes involved in experimental research and that depend on the particular experimental research designs that we use. But the process that we are discussing here that we have that I have uh, kind of included here is the general process of experimental research. And so the first thing generally that happens is that you select a group of subjects for the experiment. <clears throat> um, and it is quite obvious that you are conducting this experiment for some reason. So you have already chosen the topic um, or the, the issue that you want to conduct your study on. So you already have also uh, uh, thought about the, the aims and objectives of the particular experiment. After that, you select a group of subjects for the experiment. Then make random assignment of the subjects into control and experimental group. So once you select the group of subjects, you divide those into control and experimental groups. Then you conduct and record a similar pretest for both with both groups. Um, and so a pretest is conducted with the experimental and the control group in order to establish it, what level of the particular issue, the, the particular uh, the particular level that they are uh, at this particular stage. So you want to establish that. And then administer treatment to experimental group, while for control group you follow the traditional procedure. Um, and then you conduct a post-test after a particular period of time. Um, you conduct a post-test in order to examine a possible difference of outcomes for the two groups. So what difference has the particular treatment caused to the experimental group? And because the 
control group is just in, like um, given the same kind of treatment, uh, uh, exactly not given any treatment. And so you want to see the possible difference of outcomes for the two groups. So here is an example, an experimental research design, a simple example. This could be um, kind of thought of as a simple, a very simple example of the experimental research. So as a teacher, you randomly select a group of class 10 students. Then you randomly assign half of the, of the subjects each into control and experimental group. The class 10th, let's say you have 40 students in class 10th, you divide that into 20, into groups of 20 each. You call one experimental group and, and the other one, um, and you, you actually randomly assign students to these two groups and you call them experimental and control group. Then you conduct and record a similar pretest for both with both groups. Um, and then you record the result of that particular pretest. Then you teach experimental group with a new method, while for control group you follow the traditional teaching method. Uh, and let's say you conduct this experiment for a month. So after a month, when the experimental period comes to an end, what you do is you conduct a post-test um, and examine a possible difference of learning outcome, outcomes for the two groups. And the difference, if there is difference, that will mean that the treatment has actually made difference. And if there is no difference, that will actually mean that the treatment has not made any difference. And both of these will have implications for you as a researcher. So this was actually a brief um, introduction to the to experimental research and especially in social sciences, specifically in the field of education. But this is the general process of experimental research um, in most fields of, of education and in most fields of knowledge. So thank you very much for your time and once more happy new year to you and to your family and may the year 2021 bring happiness, peace and prosperity in your life. Take care.